8th. Uh, we have no ANRs tonight. So at 635, we'll have the site plan approval request from 2 School Street, 602 Main Street, STL Group, LLC. Following that, we'll have the town plan update, then old business, new business, and adjournment. Has everyone had an opportunity to review the minutes of September 28th? Mm -hmm. Which are pretty extensive today. Thank you very much. <laughs> very detailed. <laughs> Any questions, comments, changes? No. Okay. Motion to approve then is submitted. So moved. Mm -hmm. Mike. Second. Second. Yeah. Wally. Any other discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Nobody. Very good. Okay. So it looks like we're not quite at 6:35. So Jean, do you want to uh, go over your update? Sure, uh, not much of an update for you this evening. Just a reminder, the special town meeting will be held Thursday evening at 7 o'clock at Tantasqua High School. Um, the next meeting is November 9th, and you'll have an application for 21 New Boston Road. I, I don't expect to conclude that hearing that evening because they haven't been able to release the name of the restaurant and therefore have not been able to provide the architectural design. But what I do propose is that we get through the stormwater and the traffic that evening and then continue until the December 14th meeting. And then I wanted to ask you about November 23rd. That is a regularly scheduled meeting. I do have a proposal for the former friendlies, uh, just a waiver about, uh, excuse me, waiver of site plan for some outdoor patio seating that we could take care of that evening. But I didn't know if anyone had travel plans. Right, does anyone know? Of? No. The 23rd. So we should be able to meet? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Good. So we'll go forward with that. And then on December 14th, as I mentioned, we'll have the continuation of the public hearing for 21 New Boston Road. So, one more minute. Yeah, we can just, whatever comes to mind, Jane. <laughs> whatever okay. comes to Jane. mind. <laughs> Might be of interest. Too efficient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have been sending you um, additional updates for the New England Cold Project and um, also, I, I know I mentioned a couple of meetings ago that the Habitat for Humanity project uh, was able to break ground, and I was able, actually able to connect New England Cold with Habitat for Humanity, and they were able to make a donation of some clean fill okay. for the site, so that saved money. 1,500 cubic yards of material was donated, so I thought that was pretty good for the project. And then, actually, we had an... Um, a resident at a recent meeting who owns a construction company and I've connected him with Habitat for Humanity as well That's and great. he's looking to have his crew donate some time to do some finished carpentry so good things happening yep. sounds great mm. okay just about a few more seconds here we'll wait till that second hand gets up to the top so I made it right under the water. You did. You right in time for the <laughs> public hearing. This is great. It's perfect timing, Dave. Very good. You're the man. Okay, so Sue, would you like to read the notice for the public hearing? Sure. In accordance with provisions of Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 40A, Section 11, the Planning Board will hold a public hearing at the Sturbridge Town Hall, second floor, 308 Main Street, Sturbridge, Massachusetts, on Tuesday, October 26, 2021 at 6.35 p.m. on the application of STL Group LLC, Post Office Box 638, Sturbridge, Mass, 01566. The applicant requests the site plan approval as required by Article, uh, what is that? Um, 19. Uh, article, oh, it's, uh, back, what's the number? 19. 19. 19. Yep. Of the Sturbridge zoning bylaws to add a new structure at the rear of the existing building at 2 School Street and to create 12 artist studios, six in the existing building and six in the proposed new structure, and to modify the existing parking lot and other site improvements. The property location is 2 School Street, 602 Main Street, Sturbridge, Mass, 01566. A copy of the site plan application can be inspected at the Sturbridge Town website at https colon backslash backslash www.sturbridge.gov backslash planning dash board backslash cases backslash recent dash filing. Or arrangements can be made to view the application packet by contacting the Sturbridge Planning Department at 508-347-2508 or by email at jlacy at sturbridge.gov. 
Any person interested or wishing to be heard on the proposal should appear at the time and place designated. Members of the public who wish to participate remotely may listen or watch the meeting online via the town's online video broadcast or cable television on channel 191 or dial into the meeting at 774-304-1455, enter 1428 pounds for the meeting number and 12345 for the access code. This phone number is only active for the public during public meetings. Specific information and general guidelines for remote participation can be found at the town's website at sturbridge.gov, town administrator, pages, how to access virtual meetings. Very good, thank you very much. Jane, you want to make an introduction? Yes. Um, so as stated in legal notice, uh, this evening you have STL Group, LLC, and it's uh, Nick, Matt, and Brandon St. Laurent. And on our go-to-meeting is Michael Andrade from Graves Engineering representing the applicant. So the proposal is to renovate the existing Rovezzi's, or former Rovezzi's restaurant, I should say, into six artist studios, and then to construct an additional building behind that building that will also be used for artist studios. There will be six in that building. So you'll probably recall the St. Laurent family has recently renovated four buildings, one's currently under construction within the commercial tourist district. One of the most recent ones that came before the board was 423 Main Street, and that was a very similar project. That was next to Dr. Restrepo's office. And during that process of leasing out those spaces, they actually developed a waiting list of people that were interested in having the artist live workspace for their use. And I did ask, when we had our initial conversations, asked if they could um, share with me their waiting list so I could just kind of see what, you know, what types of artists were looking for spaces. And I did find that there were graphic designers, there was an author, photographer, I believe, um, music teachers, um, so different people in, in the arts that would definitely meet the definition. So with that, they went forward and had their plans prepared. And the plan has been distributed to all the departments for review and comment. I've compiled those staff comments and sent them to the applicant for review. There was a little bit of back and forth over the next couple of days, or the last couple of days, I should say, because it was determined that the dumpster was um, located within the setback, and so the dumpster needed to be moved. So you'll see in the report I sent to you earlier today that I had provided you some options on you know, either accepting a larger number of compact car parking spaces, maybe restricting one of the units that the tenant could only have one parking space, or even removing a unit. And that was based on um, an email that I had received from Nick that said if they had moved the parking space to be parallel behind the building, they would only have a 21-foot drive aisle when the bylaw actually calls for 24. So I'm not sure if that was a typo or if after the engineer went out and remeasured, we have not a plan that I'll let them explain either um, them or Mr. Andre go through the plan, but I, at a quick glance, it just came in a little while ago and I was in a meeting, but at quick glance it does look like they've complied with moving the dumpster away from the property line. The parallel parking space does allow for 24 foot drive aisle, and it also looks like they've um, accommodated a couple of additional stormwater comments that I had on the last. So with that, I think maybe the best thing would be to allow them to present the plan, go over the changes with the board from my report that I issued this morning to the plan that you see before you tonight and take any questions. Very good, thank you. Right, go ahead. All right, uh, good evening. I would like to thank everybody for their time uh, tonight. Um, yeah, so basically, you know, uh, we've had the introduction. Um, I'm Nick, this is Matt and Brandon. Um, originally, Gene's uh, correct. We had a couple of a couple of back and forth with the parking, but we were able to accommodate the bylaws and move this dumpster to the top right, um, northern northeastern uh, corner, which allows for the you know a ten a ten and a half foot setback being the requirement. And 
provides ample room for a, a waste truck to, to, for, for access without having to maneuver or, or, or turn too much. It's pretty much just a straightaway that backs right in. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, moving the dumpster, we lost a, par uh, a parking space here. So what we had to do is we had to move it back over to where the existing uh, building is and create the parallel spot. And <clears throat> I was unsure about the, 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 the driving aisle there. I, I was under the assumption it was 21, but it was actually 24 after a discussion with Mike um, at Graves Engineering. So it worked out, and we did actually address the swale in the rear of the new proposed addition building uh, for extra drainage <clears throat> and, and, and water capture. Um, but yeah, just to, to piggyback on uh, what Gene said earlier, we have been doing these projects for the past three years here on Main Street. <clears throat> and we started out with 541, which was, which was the prior, uh, the Briar Patch building. And we just did one there. And <clears throat> we got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, feedback or, or demand for that specific unit. So, didn't really think anything of it, and then we moved along to 554, which was just residential units, and then we tackled 423 Main Street, where we had five units in total, four were artist studios, and one was just uh, residential. And <clears throat> we started seeing, you know, as you can imagine, given the past year, quite a demand for these, uh, these artist studios, and um, <clears throat> The, the emails and the contacts just keep, kept rolling in, so. And then we moved along to 548 uh, Main Street, which we're, we're doing now, and, and that is also just, just um, residential units. And so, which brings us to this proposed project now here at the former Rivezzi's um, establishment. Um, we thought it was ideal because it had an existing structure and it also had room in the back for an additional structure to kind of economically utilize the space there. And it was great that it had the 602 lot adjacent to it so we could provide ample parking. We thought it was an ideal candidate to, to do these artist studios and so we decided to move forward. Um, you know, uh, it's great too because we're, we're able to improve the site overall as far as the drainage goes for storm water um, while not disturbing too much that's existing there as well um, and we are aware that in the prior prior construction projects for Revezzi's we know that a lot of time and effort was put in for the landscaping in that general area so we love to keep it the same we think it looks great and really just kind of breathe new life into that area where the entrance, you know, the west, I think it's the western entrance mm -hmm. for Sturbridge, um, can have just some new life and some new, some new, some new traffic and uh, kind of give it, you know, a nice, <clears throat> a nice facelift and, and, and bring some, uh, just bring some overall traffic to the area and a better appearance. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Michael Andre. I'm not sure if he's there. Yes. He can, he's yep. okay. I'm here. Okay, so he can answer any you know engineering questions you might have or concerns, and we'll go from there. Great, thank you. Yeah, just like, I can just make a couple of comments off off the bat before we go into questions. Um, first, thank you, thank you very much to Jean and her staff for the comments and the time we turn around. We appreciate that. <clears throat> um, I'll just explain some of the confusion about the dumpster. Um, so we take ownership of that. We weren't aware the dumpster was considered a structure in town. Um, and, and therefore needed to comply with that setback. So once we learned of that, we, we moved it to where the location is now. Um, and the question about <clears throat> the um, um, aisle, aisle uh, width in, in this area, we originally had, sorry, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm just hearing my own echo. Um, we originally had these spaces as eight by 20. So they were compact and width uh, but there were um, standard spaces in length. That was what made the 21 foot um, aisle. So we changed these to uh, straight compact, both in width and length. They're eight by 18 now. So that opened up the aisle to 24 feet and we were able to add that parallel space uh, against the building uh, on this end. So that was 
just want to clarify those two issues that were maybe a source of confusion. Um, I can certainly answer any questions anyone might have. Charlie, if I may. Michael, could you please go over the uh, stormwater management plan just because you are making some changes there? Right, so um, we have, uh, I'm gonna switch to another file here. <clears throat> the project overall is reducing impervious um, services on both sites. Uh, what we're showing here, uh, the areas that are in red are what uh, is now um, um, uh, pervious that's being made impervious. And the green on uh, both sites is what is currently impervious that uh, we're changing to pervious. So uh, just starting in this lot, this entire lot is paved. Obviously the building is impervious, but the area behind it is going to be landscaped grass uh, and landscaping as long as along the front of the building. And we're able to shave a little bit on the edges of the parking lot. <clears throat> so there's an overall reduction of impervious on that site by itself. On the tool, uh, on the um, Main Street parcel, same thing. We're shaving a bit of impervious around the perimeter where we don't need it um, and creating a bit more of a buffer uh, at the entrance here to separate the parking from the street. The both sites um, overall, I'm going to switch back to the other sheet. We have a um, uh, reduction in impervious <clears throat> on Tool School Street site from 71% to 62%, and on 602 Main from 57 to 53%. Um, so we are considered a redevelopment in terms of stormwater management and we're required to make improvements um, to maximum extent practicable. So we looked at it and considered a bunch of different options and um, the site is, is difficult in a couple respects. Um, one, because the land area is so tight, especially on the two school street parcel with the building and the parking lot and existing utilities um, and all this drainage now drains into this existing parking lot and a catch basin here. Um, the uh, Main Street uh, parcel all flows towards Main Street. There's no drainage there now. There is some drainage in <clears throat> School Street itself. It's all relatively shallow. This site itself could not drain to that system uh, because of the elevation difference um, and likely the same with this. So what we did was uh, in addition with the reduction of impervious is um, create at the lower end of both sites uh, what we call an infiltration trench, which is just a stone filled trench that'll capture all the sheet flow off of both sites, allow some exfiltration in dry times and slow that uh, rate of runoff off the site and provide some minor infiltration, some minor TSS removal, but we haven't credited any actual removal for that. Um, stormwater discharge to both sites. So those are the stormwater improvements that we're proposing um, as part of this project. Very good, okay. Thank you. Wally, do you have any questions or comments? No, I don't. No, I'm good. Dane? No. <coughs> okay. Sue? No. I'm all set. Wait, no questions, no. Okay. Anyone from the public? Or on the? Check on the phone. No. Oh. Oh. I was checking there. Is there anyone on the line that has an interest in speaking on the application of STL Group LLC for the property located at 2 Brookfield Road, also known as well, no, the School Street, now they've they've gone to one. 602 yeah, Main yeah, Street? Yeah, they've, they've. Nope. Okay. I guess we'll have a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. Second. Second, Sue. All in favor? Opposed, no one. Okay, do we have a uh, motion that you'd like us to have? Um, yes, so I've provided you on page seven of the report that I provided earlier today, uh, a proposed list of conditions, and I have provided these to the applicant as well. So the recommended motion would be to approve the site plan approval for STL Group LLC for the property located at 2 Brookfield Road, also known as 2 School Street and 602 Main Street, to allow the renovation of the existing building into six two-bedroom artist studios and to construct a new building on the property that will contain six one-bedroom artist studios in accordance with the plans and supplemental materials provided with the following conditions. 
One, the artist studio shall only be rented to those tenants meeting the definition noted in the bylaw, and a list of tenants and the occupation of the tenant shall be provided to the planning department for inclusion in the file. This list shall be updated as required. Two, all state and local zoning bylaws, building codes, and other regulations must be adhered to. Three, all other necessary permits and approvals must be obtained prior to the start of construction. Four, all necessary plans and reviews must be provided to building and fire departments for review and approval prior to beginning construction. Very good. Would someone like to make a motion? Approving that? So I have one question. Sure. Um, landscaping, you mentioned the front of the building needs, needs to be um, regenerated. What about the, um, the new building that is going to be put up? What's uh, the plans for landscaping? On the, uh, the site plans, there are actually uh, guidelines to what type of planting we'll be planting. Um, it's a mix of, I believe, uh, emerald green arborvitae and uh, some Donald Wyman crab apples. Um, but uh, we're open to plant. I mean, I'm sure that can, can change along the way. Um, there is not much plantings, really, that we're we'll be doing along the side of the new structure. Um, but right now, that's what the plan are, plan is. How about in the parking area? Uh, right now, there's just the, the, the two crab apple trees and then the, the drainage area. Um, as far as the front of the parking lot, those are filled with trees right now and grass. So there's really not too much we can do because the back section of the parking lot is uh, gravel um, riprap. Um, so that will, will most likely stay the same. So the latest site plan that um, is 928-21 for the plantings, is that correct? Uh, that would be, I think that would be accurate and of what we have e even with the plans that were submitted today. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay great. So I think I've actually had a thought actually. Today. Sure, go ahead. Sorry, but so close, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> the two uh, parking areas are, there's a public right of way in the middle, but there's no stop signs or stop bars. Um, can we add something like that? Yeah, we can put stop signs. Sure. Um, similarly, to the north of the new trash enclosure, there's a lot of pavement that's no longer being removed. Could we remove that as well? well I'm sorry, what which, are you which referring pavement to? Are referring sure, to? so on the, uh, the 602 lot yep. mm -hmm. uh, to the north of the trash enclosure, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. former parking space pavement that's no longer accessible, mm -hmm. there's a lot of other areas that have been grayed out with a hatch to say, remove impervious, replace with a more permeable riprap. Mm -hmm. be a big opportunity to pick up some more square footage there. Yeah, we can definitely do that. And on that same parcel, the infiltration like trench does not currently yeah. have yeah. an overflow point. Oh, the there. infiltration trench you know, on the school street lot does have an overflow point. We may want to design one for that as well. And I might recommend that it's towards the left, which is to the low side of the parcel's location, and would also quickly drain towards the street and not erode all of that landscaping. Okay, I'm sure we can do that. Yeah. Great. Can I just read back those additional yeah, conditions to make sure I have them? Just a few little thoughts, <laughs> sorry. Um, so uh, condition number five, stop signs and stop bars shall be installed um, at the exit to both parking lots. On 602 Main Street, the paved area north of the new proposed location for the trash enclosure, the um, remove the impervious surface. And so that would be condition number six. And seven, an overflow point shall be added to the infiltration trench. Um, and this is talking about 602 parking, 602 Main Street parking area. An overflow point shall be added to the infiltration trench and shall drain toward the low side of the parcel on the left. Did I get that all? Perfect. All right. Okay. okay. Well, you accept those as part of your motion? I do. Okay, we have a second? Second. Second. Any other discussion? Oh, go ahead, Sue. The dumpster, will it be enclosed? 
Yes. People yes. Who live in there and yes. Or, yeah. Over there. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Very good. Any other questions? All in favor? Opposed, no one. Very good. Thank you very much. And thank you thank for the you. work you've already done. The projects have really come out great. And yeah, we really, yeah. Yeah. really appreciate the work you've done on the other projects. They really look good. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Good thank, you. thank you. Bye, Michael. Nice to see you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you all. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay. So the only other thing we have, I think, is old business, new business. Mike, do you have any old or new business? Uh, no, I'm not sure you know. Nope. So? Dane? No. Molly? I don't either. How about a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second to second. All in favor? Great. Have a good evening. Thank you. you we'll see you at the town meeting, special town meeting. Yeah, see you at the special town meeting. Thursday. Thursday at 7. <laughs>